everybody, it's Noreen, Atticus9799, here with an episode of Help Them in a Hurry. And we're going to call this a pantry meal tonight. My mom used to make this when I was a kid, and I loved it. And every now and then I pull it out of the recipe box in my mind, and, and I think, we're going to have that for dinner, because it's kind of a happy food memory for me. Um, I have to warn you, when my daughter asked me today what we were having for dinner, and I told her, she went, ew, I'm not eating that. So I sent her to the mall with her friend, because who needs that around? So what we're going to make tonight is what my mom always called hot dog stew. So don't get turned off by that. Um, we all eat hot dogs, I'm pretty sure of it, unless you're a vegetarian. I will preface this by saying the only type of hot dogs that I ever purchase are Hebrew National. They are 100% kosher and 100% beef, so they're 100% not scary. So let's come over here and I'll show you what we're, what we're going to make. This is really quick and easy because it really only has like four ingredients. Hot dogs, I have, a, I buy my hot dogs in a package of 24, so there's what was left of that. I usually stow them in the freezer. These are thawed out, there were nine of them. We've got one for the dogs. So eight hot dogs, and we're just gonna slice them like this. I'm sure that I don't need to show you how to do that, but I had these last two, I was gonna just do that. We're gonna, I chopped up an onion, spoonful of garlic, two cans of green beans that I have drained, two cans of stewed tomatoes with their juice. So what I have over here is um, my cast iron skillet. I have put about a tablespoon of vegetable oil in here and I have my onion. And let me get my garlic and a spoon. We're just going to put a little bit, like that, like a clove. Use fresh garlic if you got it. I'm using this because I'm in a hurry, and this is easy. So I'm going to go ahead and saute this up. When we're, when we're ready to move on, I'll come back. Okay, you can see that our onions and our garlic are nicely sauteed, and they're just about translucent. That's how we want them. Now I'm just going to go ahead and toss these dogs in here. Um, and let those kind of take on some of the heat from the pan and and we don't want them to really brown up but we want to take on some of that flavor from those onions and garlic that have been sauteing in there for the last few minutes. Now I promise you I grew up with this and I love it. Maybe it's an acquired taste, I don't know, but I, I don't know about you, I, I think hot dogs are great. I mean, good hot dogs, not those scary ones that you can't read the ingredient list because you either need a chemical, a doctorate in chemical, <clears throat> uh, whatever. But if you can't pronounce it, you shouldn't be eating it. But these are good hot dogs. So pick your favorite, slice them up, toss them in here. Then we're just going to go for it. We've got our stewed tomatoes. Our green beans. We're just going to stir this all up together. And as those tomatoes heat up, they're going to render a little bit more juice, so don't worry if it's a little too dry or if your tomatoes weren't that saucy. Go ahead and add a little bit of water, but you don't think you really need to. This is a one dish meal. What we're going to do is serve this over some white rice which is how my mom used to do it. I've got some sitting there. It's just finished boiling. And it's a whole meal. It's really a one-shot deal. I have served this over elbow macaroni or egg noodles. That's also a really good substitute. And um, you go for it. You do what you want. Serve over brown rice. Serve over spaghetti. Whatever you have on hand. That's why I would like to call this a pantry meal because we often have hot dogs in our freezers. And we often come home in the evening and we don't know what we're going to cook. We're tired. We had a bad day. The kids are hungry. The kids had a bad day. They're screaming. And we don't really know what to do. We can't afford to go out for dinner because funds are low and paycheck is until Friday. So what are we going to do? We're going to do this. You can even have some bread and butter with it. Throw some biscuits in the oven. Whatever you want to do. It's easy. It's quick. And I guarantee you, kids aren't going to complain after they taste one bite of this. They're going to love it. I've just sprinkled on about a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. 
And then I'm going to add, now stay with me, I know this is a little bit different. I'm going to sprinkle in a little bit of celery seed. Now there's celery in that stewed tomato mixture, and I really like the way that celery seed adds that little extra jolt of celery when you bite into it. So we're going to put that in there. Now all we have to do is wait for this to heat up, wait for our rice to finish cooking, and we're going to be back in just a few minutes, and you know what we're going to do then. We're going to fix you a plate, because I know it's been a long day, and I know that it's time for us to all sit down and relax with a nice plate of hot dog stew. So I'll be right back. There it is, all bubbly and ready to be served. Hot dog stew. And it smells really good, and Micah came over and tasted it, and she liked it. So Molly's just missing out, because she had to go to the mall. So, let's fix you a plate. Okay, let's get some of our white rice. We'll put that right in the middle. And we'll get some of this loveliness over here. There we go. There you have it. Hot dog stew. It's what's for dinner. I hope you try it and I hope you enjoy it. So until